start by putting the castor sugar through a sieve so it gets finer. There are like big crumbs in it, which we don't like. If you wonder about the candles, they are leftovers from Christmas. Now we need three eggs, I would say in the size middle. And put the eggs into the castor sugar. By the way, this recipe is from Kylie Flavel. It's the ricotta lemon cake and you can find the ingredients on your homepage. I prefer here the organic eggs because I think they taste a bit better. A dream of mine is to have one day chickens and so our own eggs. Now we have to stir that the custard sugar and the eggs are one. Okay, now let's stir a bit faster. I took the whisk for help. I kind of enjoy this process. I cut the sugar into smaller pieces so I can use it more easily. I highly recommend to put the butter out of the fridge a bit earlier so the butter is a bit softer and not that hard like it is here. In this step I put the butter into the mixture of caster sugar and eggs. Like the name of the cake is saying, there are lemons in the cake. And for the best taste we put lemon zest into it. Already here, it smells so wonderful. When you think you have enough of the lemon zests, we can put them into the butter, caster sugar, eggs mixture. Now let's cut the two lemons into half and get some juice out of them. It's always easier to get the lemon zest before choosing the lemons. I put the lemon juice first in a cup to separate the lemon seeds later. Now put some cinnamon in it. I prefer the Ceylon cinnamon to the cassia. And for extra flavor, I add some vanilla. Okay, there can't be enough vanilla. Let's go on with blending all the ingredients. Because I didn't have enough ricotta, I added um, some cream cheese and also the ricotta, so that in the end I had about 190 grams of ricotta and cream cheese together. Here 
Here we add some flour together with the baking soda. Um, I love to mix whole grain flour with just white normal flour. I like to add the flour step by step, so peu en peu. Here was the second part and the third part is following. Now the final rest of the flour and blend all the ingredients. So that we get the cake out of the form after baking easily, it is important to put oil into the form. In every corner I am here really carefully and add breadcrumbs. Now shake it so that the breadcrumbs can go in every corner. It was important before that the oil is everywhere so that the breadcrumbs can stick on the oil and later to get the cake out of the form easily. Here I added some more breadcrumbs. It was a bit um, too less before. This is such a nice and lovely cake recipe. I made the cake about one or two times before and everybody, even my husband, liked it. When we coated the form with breadcrumbs, we can now start to fill the dough into the form. It's a lot of dough, so my form might be a little bit too small. Let's see. So as I said before, this recipe is from Kylie Flavel. If you didn't know her, check out her YouTube. She's a really a great inspiration. And every week there are videos about her and her family and about the beautiful landscape of Tuscany. I have also a big love for Tuscany and my big dream is to have one day my own little house there, like a second home from home. It is important that there is enough space left in the form because the dough will rise, it will go up because of the baking soda in it. Okay, now we are finished and the cake can go into the oven. It took about 45 to 50 minutes till the cake was ready. And now I'm really excited to taste it. So excited, I hope that the cake doesn't stick to the form. So let's see. Okay, I think this looks good. I use a kitchen towel to turn the cake around because the cake is still quite warm. There should be a nice crust on the outside and really soft on the inside. A perfect treat for afternoon tea or coffee with friends, family, or I also love to enjoy a good piece of cake and a cup of coffee by myself. Here you can hear my husband, I think he liked it. He said, wow, that's really good.